I only remember vaguely a, a line in um, William Stafford poems that shook me the first time I heard it. I say that uh, the darkness around us is deep. <laughs> That the darkness around us is deep. I don't understand the details of that darkness. I can only feel it. Um, being an African caught up in the turmoil of this postmodern culture, while I found myself uh, seeking day in and day out, is truly a sense of home. Of course, uh, some people may say, well, but you have a village back there, uh, why don't you stay there? My own elders have reiterated over and over each time I go home. There is no chance left for the indigenous world to survive. The only way it can live is in the heart and soul of the very culture that killed it. So each time I find myself in a place that is no longer the, uh, the high rise and the freeways, but a place populated by trees and waters, something that looks natural, that's what comes to my consciousness. Maybe the indigenous is trying again to figure out a way to be born. This is a journey to Bethlehem to be born. <laughs> Maybe this is it. And I tend to see in each one of you an old soul. Maybe this is the kind of home that I keep, uh, keep looking for. If it comes in the form of a true community reason out of that desire to merge once again with nature and uh, to come into a state of reconciliation with ourselves so that finally our souls can sing the way Etheridge Knight says it. Mm. I think the home that perhaps I'm not yet it's the only one seeking, the home that perhaps we're all seeking is going to be found. Because for some reason I keep seeing in each one of you an exile someone who has been betrayed profoundly and the gathering of people who are betrayed can yield tremendous healing tremendous energy so hopefully my ambition is that this become the gift that we offer to one another as we come here whether it means that this happened through opening our heart to one another or just our heart to ourselves, Meaning that for a while we step off, step away from the brain and allow the heart and the soul to sing and think. Maybe that's, that's the way it's going to happen. But at least uh, I feel that uh, coming here it's like going back to the village. It may be ironic that outside of the village is a very sophisticated world asleep. But at least uh, the noise we're going to make here will be the noise of the ancestors ringing the bell, the wake up, the wake up bell. And if we could hold that Maybe the spirit we're called in to this evening can probably join. And that's perhaps one of the greatest thing we can do to us, to the nature that surrounds us, and perhaps to the world we're gonna have to return to.